Hi, my name is Kim Templeton. I graduated from Parkway Central High School in 1980. Prior to that, I went to what was then Parkway East Junior High. And then prior to that, I went to uh, Weber Elementary School. Fantastic. And what are you doing today? Currently, I'm an orthopedic oncologist at the University of Kansas in Kansas City. Um, I'm an orthopedic surgeon with subspecialty training in oncology, so I take care of bone and muscle tumors of different varieties. Um, I also deal with women's health issues and metabolic bone disease, meaning things like osteoporosis. But then I've also branched out with women's health issues and working nationally on developing national curricular materials and educational materials, both for the public as well as for people in, in medical school to learn more about women's health. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. What, a, what an awesome giving kind of um, perspective you have. That's great. Well, it's fun because there aren't many people that, that do this, and so when they're, but the need is definitely there. And so when people see that there's somebody out there who's interested in this, they definitely grab onto that. So that's going anywhere from working, just going out to give public health talks, to working at the university, to doing some work at the United Nations and publishing some things through some groups there. And it's, it's been a lot of fun. That's incredible, the United Nations. Yeah. How funny. did you get from Parkway Central High School to the United Nations <laughs> <laughs> through medicine? What was your path that you took? Um, I went to Washington University for my undergraduate degree. I then went to University of Missouri to, for medical school, which is fun being at the University of Kansas. So I have to be the proud representation of the Tigers at KU. Um, I then did an orthopedic residency at Rush Presbyterian St. Luke's in Chicago, and then at a, a, my specialty fellowship at Harvard at Boston Children's and at Massachusetts General Hospital. But then going out and doing the, the cancer work, I started getting seeing a lot of women coming in with osteoporosis and other health issues, doing more research in that, finding out that really there weren't there were people that were addressing it, but really not looking at the global perspective of sex and gender-based differences in health. So I got involved, involved in that, doing both teaching, writing, and research, and then hooked up with some women who were involved with some of the committees at the United Nations. So I spoke there a couple of years ago and they published a book uh, last year on global women's health. And so I wrote some material for that. So it's been fun. What an incredible path. Yeah, it, it's, been, it's been fun. It's been fun. I'm currently professor of orthopedic surgery and health policy and management. So when you're in academics, you start out as an assistant professor. And then if you do enough research and education and teaching, you then get what's called tenure, where you then have a somewhat of a guaranteed career, then make associate professor and then full professor. So I'm the you know, 15th or 16th woman in the country who's made it as full professor in orthopedics. Orthopedics, is a, prof orthopedics is a profession that's 96% male, so there aren't many women who go into it anyway, but especially not those who try to make it in an academic career. Well, congratulations on those successes and being such Thank a groundbreaker. You. Thank you. It's fun. How did um, Parkway take take maybe a part in any any of that? Like, when did you learn that you wanted to go into medicine, and was there someone through your education through Parkway who might have led you in that direction? I think what Parkway gave me is, is a good is a good background in science. Lots of opportunities to learn more about science. Really get hands on doing a lot of dissections and just learning different things about science. But the other thing that Parkway allowed too was the ability to look at all areas because although I'm a scientist and I do research and teach, my other area of interest is 15th and 16th century English history. I also cook. I auditioned early and almost made it to um, Master Chef, a, a program that they had on, on Fox. I made it was the last cut before they got to the TV interview. Probably didn't make the cut because when I did the uh, the taped interview with the producers, I talked about health care reform and the need for, pe for personal responsibility for people to take care of their health, and they didn't get the connection with cooking, but it's there. <laughs> um, but that was, I think, was what Parkway gave me, is the ability to get a basic science background and do, do a lot of the science work, learn about science, learn to get interested in science, but then in the next period, take an English history class or take a class in Shakespeare or be involved with, with athletics. I played on the, you know, I played tennis when I was when I was in high school. And it was just the opportunity to be involved in lots of things and get a good background in everything, but not get so focused early on that you get that you get burned out and forget what it is that you love to do. And that's one of the, the recommendations that I make to, I work with students from first grade and all the way up through medical school and residency too for that matter. One of the things I try to tell them is don't forget what you love. Learn, you know, learn a profession, learn what you do, do it well, but don't forget about all the other stuff because all the other stuff is what keeps you grounded. And when you retire, that's the stuff you're going to go back to and you can't forget that during your career. 